r slash scams. Irisis Neat says. Unclaimed money scam, how does this work? Included photo. T Poke says. You pay the fee they are asking for. Scammer disappears. That's it. That's the scam. PRKR88 says. Tada. Honey underscore sweet underscore says. I especially like how the money amount has two cent sections. Life underscore conference underscore 797 says. Hey pay me X and I pinky promise I'll send you Y in return you pay them X. Nothing else happens. The end. Joe I Gibson says. It's an advance fee scam. Tyratical says. I agree that this is probably an advance fee scam. However, unclaimed funds are a real thing in the US. And some people do make a business out of scouring the public lists and contacting people offering to make the connection in return for a cut. In light of this, you should go out and check the unclaimed property lists and see if you have anything on there. If you do, go through the free process to claim it, there's no need to pay a middleman once you're aware of the property. Some years ago, my uncle received numerous voice emails making this type of offer. He told me about it, and wasn't sure what to make of it. I searched the lists for his name, found his property, and helped him fill out the paperwork to claim it. Internal Discomfort says. $12,512.82.00 .00. Oh god it's a refund from Veris and they are tracking .00 of a cent. No. Oh. They're going to trap you in a multi-hour phone call while they explain point zero two and two dollars are the same amount. Run. Parking Twist 97 says twelve thousand five hundred and twelve dollars and eighty two cents and zero question mark. Kaimelo says they keep a large chunk of unclaimed funds that you could just claim yourself and keep the entire amount by checking government websites that let you search for unclaimed funds in your name. R slash scams. Decorama says. Scam surge. Is it just me or does it seem scams in general are surging everywhere? It seems where I work, at home. My friends and family all seem to be experiencing an uptick in scammy behavior. Is there anywhere that tracks this sort of thing? Thanks in advance. Hey say now again brat says. Literally just was thinking about this today to- Seems like it is slash was the golden age of scamming. If I were to guess I think the pandemic and all the money floating around in the hands of people chilling at home disconnected from society lead to a massive push to take advantage of this fact. Unintended Nostalgia says. I've been job hunting recently and encountered numerous job scams coming in like a flood. I get multiple MLs and texts per day. From MLM scams, outdoor sales posing as office jobs to straight up trying to steal your personal info scams. It's annoying as hell, because I have to spend most of my time sifting through emails and doing research to see which ones are legit jobs. Wild underscore windy underscore b says. I have a call blocker, and it notifies me every time it block a phone call, and blocks so many calls in a day. Lol scrawber says. Maybe people are more desperate for money with all the stuff that happened the past two years, and they throw caution to the wind, so they just up their resources. Wild underscore windy underscore b says. I got four of those spam texts within the span of five minutes. All the same scam, but with different account names and different senders attention. Your PayPal slash Netflix slash Amazon slash bank name account has suspicious activity it's literally the same format and wording for each text message. They just change the name of the company they are using. R slash scams. 5 Mandel 0 Ryan 3344 says eBay, buyer is asking to send video of computer. 
What is the scam? Hey everyone, as the title says I posted a laptop for sale on eBay, and I received a bunch of offers from accounts, created less than a day ago. I declined all of these as it seemed like scam accounts. I ended up receiving an offer at the price I posted it at. This was a bit of a red flag to me, as usually you'll see people going a bit lower of the buy it now price. His offer was from an account with thousands of reviews. I thought this was legit, and not a scam account. I haven't gotten a payment yet. The buyer messaged me to see if I could send him videos of the laptop to his personal email, not through eBay. Something about this sounds off to me, and I was wondering what is a potential scam here? Sabi Riangringo says. This may be the first move in getting you comfortable into going off platform. Deep Fudge 9235 says. Don't go outside of eBay, he's banking on you forgetting then you will lose all protection. Anthem Rain says. Remember that authentic accounts can also be compromised, trust your gut despite the thousands of reviews. While I may be paranoid, there are many potential scams you might fall into when selling high value stuff online, so it's always better safe than sorry I'm ho. The Sago X says. Never go off platform. Never ever ever, unless it's cash in hand in person for payment. There is absolutely no reason to do so. It could be setting up a scam asking for something harmless, that he can then respond to, and keep communications there. Agu in Amedbri says. Not an eBay expert, but seems like they are confirming that you have it, especially if you have few ratings. R slash scams. Same underscore swimming underscore 3440 says. New Netflix account hacked in, 5 days. But what's the scam? I signed up for Netflix less than a week ago. New account, just registered, not reactivated brand new Signup. Last night, hackers from India, signed into my account. How did they hack it so fast? And what's the scam? They can't see my billing info and there were no videos watched. I don't see how an account I registered with Netflix less than a week ago got hacked so fast. Password was 10 characters with a per case slash lower case and a special character. I changed my password to a 60 character monstrosity with many special characters and unique words. But what were the hackers even trying to do? Anthem Rain says. If it gets accessed again, definitely do a windows refresh slash factory refresh of your devices. What were the hackers trying to do? They can sell access to your account for cheap, or any other variety of Netflix related activities. Sabi Riangringo says. If your password of 10 characters was one you use on multiple sites, and one site had a data breach, then that could, could be one way. If they compromise your account after the 60 character password, then you likely have some sort of infostealer slash trojan on your computer. Android phones are also susceptible to infostealers, if apps are downloaded from third party sites. Kaimelo says. Was your original password a password you have used on other websites? R slash scams. Aggravating underscore side 8125 says. Is the Nielsen rating system a scam? So Nielsen wants my family to wear's devices, to monitor what TV my family watches. They say they won't listen to personal conversations, but I'm not sure I believe that it seems scammy to me. Does anyone have info? Mrs. Frobird says. My family did it once. Not really worth it. My dad thought it was a big deal to be a Nielsen family because apparently it was a big thing when he was a kid. But all they're doing is trying to profit off of you. It's stupid and not worth it. Tingus says. My family did this for a while. The monitors do exactly what they said, they capture the unique frequency of whatever medium you are near. That being said, what I found to be scammy, dishonest, Unethical? 
was the fact that my family's preferences were often questioned, as they didn't fit the mold of what they perceived should be the norm for our ages slash genders. When we confirmed that the information they received was accurate, we were told that we would no longer be permitted to participate unless we were willing to align our viewing slash listening to what they deemed appropriate for our demographics. So, I would suggest that it's a scam, just not the one you might think it is. Anthem Rain says. I spent way too long filling out that giant survey book and now they literally never stop calling me, but they did give the money that was promised, and I don't think it's a scam. Plus it was fun responding no to literally everything, since all I watch is YouTube. Blue Porch says. I thought Nielsen used surveys. Sounds off to me too. That's all for this video. Was it good? I know not for I'm a robot. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. This video is the product of an automated process.